Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. I hope you're doing well today and I hope the holidays and the beginning of 2023 has been going well for you. Today I decided to build a cute little tiny pink tiny house. Um, I do believe this ends up being fully a micro home and you might notice I kind of build it really strange I guess because I was really trying to maximize the space we had and really make everything feel as complete as possible and have as much as possible in this house. So I do end up kind of building the house and planning the furnishing at the same time. That's why you see there are some cabinets and random bits of furniture already placed down before I even fully finish the floor plan. I really was just trying to make this work the best I could. I do think this house ended up being really cute and I really liked it. It also turns out to be a starter home. I think it's just shy of the full 20,000 simoleons you start out with, but I think that's fine. And I imagine also that this Sim is maybe an artist, probably like a painter or something and does some gardening, you know, whatever they can to make some money. And of course you don't have to play this house that way, but that's just kind of what I imagined and kind of what I furnished it for house has a combination of modern elements but also like this very cutesy kind of cottage vibe at the same time at least that's kind of what i got from the siding that i chose which from the thumbnail you can probably tell is this pink siding that i absolutely love i also love that there is a lot of light in this house i used some of those big modern glass windows from eco lifestyle that really just let light into the rooms and make the space feel a little bit bigger and I really like it. I also used a lot of things from Tiny Living as can probably be expected in a tiny house and this house ends up being super colorful and I really really like it. Also I'm sorry I missed my upload for the last build I was supposed to post on I guess last Saturday is when I missed. Um, I have just been recovering from the holidays and things have been a little bit crazy and on a more personal note my mental health kind of gets worse around just after the holidays and so I've been struggling with that a little bit as well. So I've just been trying to take some time for myself and enjoy the free time that I have created. I think it can be really easy to forget to take care of yourself when you are constantly trying to do so many things and you know even though I'm not in school right now I kind of feel like I have to be doing something and so I just feel like I haven't been as productive as I'd like and I have to remind myself that I am allowed to take a little bit of a break when I need it. I also hope that you are thinking the same thing about yourself and that you need to Take time for yourself and make space for whatever you're feeling, whether that be good or bad. The holidays can be a little bit chaotic for people, so make sure you're taking a little bit of a break. Anyways, back to the build. As you can see, we are kind of finishing up the actual floor plan. I did, like I said, change things around quite a bit, but this is pretty much the floor plan we ended up going with and I think it works pretty well. I didn't want to have the bathroom be super in the way, but I didn't want to have it right off of the bedroom only either because even though this is a really small house, I feel like this sim really likes to have friends over and spend time with them. And that's why I also really prioritized having a decent-ish sized living room so that this sim could have friends over and hang out with them. I will say there is not any dining space in this house, but Sims can sit on the couch or sit on the bed and eat. And then I also put, I believe, either a picnic table or some kind of outdoor dining table on the side. I did end up putting a nice little side yard next to this house because I felt like a backyard didn't really fit with where I wanted the door to go. And I also thought the side yard looked cute and made the house take up a little bit more space and look more substantial. Also, you may notice that I'm building this house on a very, very large lot. That's because I initially actually wasn't planning on building this. I was planning on building something else. And then somehow I ended up building this little house. 
So I do end up moving it to, I believe, a 20 by 15 lot uh, before it goes up on the gallery, but for now, it just looks really small compared to this lot. Also, for some, I guess, kind of exciting news, at least to me, I just got my new microphone in the mail today, and I should be getting the mixer for it tomorrow. So hopefully any videos I record after this will have a new microphone and will sound a little bit better. Um, and I'm really excited to actually have decent sounding audio for my videos. Also, something you may notice me doing right now is I placed these little planters and I put some flowers in them that are just, I believe, from the debug category or I may have used actual landscaping. But those are just filler. I mean, I think they look pretty and you could leave it that way if you wanted to. But I kind of imagined that when actually playing the game, you would delete those and then maybe put some real flowers or something in those plants. Thoughts. Also, now you can kind of see what I was talking about with the side yard. I kind of have shaped it out with a fence now and I end up putting a little bit of landscaping back here and possibly a grill. The easel's back here and I end up putting this picnic table here. I also added that wind chime which I always forget about and I think is so cute and I just love it and it makes like little sounds and has an animation in game and I just always forget to use it. That and the bird feeder I always forget about. I don't know if you guys know this, but if you place that backyard stuff bird feeder and have your sim click on it and fill it with bird seed, there is a little animation where birds will come and sit on the bird feeder and get some food. It's really, really cute and I always forget about it and it's something that I definitely need to use more because I love it. You may have also noticed that I placed a couple solar panels and a uh, spinny thing on the roof. I don't remember what it's called. For some reason my brain is thinking windmill, but I don't know if that's correct. I Don't yell at me in the comments, please, because I know what it's called. My brain's just not working currently. So you know what I'm talking about, the spinny thing that I put on the roof that produces power. Um, I put one of those because I felt like this house, since it's so small, I thought it might be pretty easy to power completely with just those few things. And I also felt like, I don't know, it looks kind of cute. I made the solar panels, the pink swatch, and I thought it looked really cute on the roof. Anyways, I am just about to run out of money in the video, which means this video is just about over. So I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you have a wonderful day today. You don't forget to take care of yourself, eat some food, drink some water, know that you are loved, and I am proud of you. Have a great day. Bye.